Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to go over text editors. Okay, so let's go to Google and I'll bring that over here and I'm going to type in let's go to google.com and let's type in text editor. Okay, so you can see there's a, a slew of options here. Um, I recommend using Sublime Text, so I'm going to right click and click Open Link and New Tab. Um, and let's look at Notepad++, so I'm going to right click and open a new tab. And let's look at 5 Best Text Editors, Lifehacker. So right click, open a new tab. So the first one we're going to look at is Sublime Text. So this one I have on my computer right now. You can see I have an icon of it uh, right here. Okay, so I use this all the time. Um, Sublime is a great pro uh, program that will is robust enough for you to be able to create whatever you need to. Okay, um, and this gives you a lot of the information that you need to know about it. So I'll let you research that and make your own decision on which text editor you want to use. Okay, let's go to Notepad Plus Plus. So Notepad Plus Plus is a free source code editor. It supports several languages and it looks like this right here. Okay, so if you want to use that one, it's totally free. Go ahead and do it. Okay, now I'm going to look at lifehacker.com. They're five best text editors. So according to this, Sublime Text is one of them. Notepad++, which is what we just went over. Vim, Atom, and Emacs. So those are the other options that you can choose from. Now there's one more option. Um, if you go to the start menu and you type in Notepad, you have a text editor on your computer already if you're running Windows. Okay, so this you could, in theory, code inside of a text editor. I don't recommend doing it because um, you're going to have to know every tag in order to be able to code a website. Okay. Now, if you use Sublime, I'm going to open it up Sublime so you can see it. Um, if you open Sublime up, and I just do Control, uh, let me make a new file first. So Control N. Control S. We'll call this test.html and I'll save it on my desktop. Okay. If I type in H HTML and I hit tab, it auto fills the tags. Okay. And if I type in a left bracket with an H1, it shows what the tag is. I can hit enter and it auto fills it. So you don't have to type everything out. It's okay to type everything out, but it's also okay if some of the progr the program will autofill it for you because you'll get a lot more done. So the choice is up to you. Whatever program you want to use is perfectly fine. Sublime will work great. Um, no plus plus, Notepad plus plus will work. Atom will work. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you the basic HTML tags. So we're going to go over the basic HTML tags. A lot of this is the basic, but we're going to go over more than that in the next video. Okay, so I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.